Well, I've actually been. I don't know what it was. I've been testing it kind of consciously lately. I'll post something intellectual and post some uh, article or link that I really think is really cool. Like even that uh, the synthetic life thing. I posted that link to Facebook. No likes, no comments, not a single comment at all. Like we've just created artificial fucking life. Okay, then my next status update was God damn these electric sex pants from the RT crowd. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, have, I, haven't seen I got like tons of likes, tons of comments. Everyone loved it. Mm. See, well, that's it. It's it's this working out what it's all about. I don't like Facebook. It's you don't like it. No. Uh. Yeah, I don't. it's <laughs> it it's like conformity. It. Like it's good for keeping up with your, mm. what your friends are doing, but. The moment you put in any kind of intellectual stimulation or any kind of thought that is beyond the Hey, look, here's a funny quote or a funny thing that happened in a TV show, then no... I had to like something. Pop-tarts. Oh, well, because that relates to... I was in. I was just up in Queensland with my semi-brother-in-law. And so I was kind of... semi brother Well, they've been going out for like three years, so I don't know what it counts as. Anyway, so much for not talking about Facebook. Let's go into one of your stories. Um, okay, I'll talk about this one quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, Google I.O., um, I haven't really had the care to keep up with a lot of it. Well, I haven't been here for the past <laughs> yeah, week, that's why we're missing been, an episode. Yeah, so. yeah, I've been sick the last week too, so I've been, like, lying in bed watching TV. Yeah, you're fine, huh? Um, but Google I.O., uh, a few things they announced is Android 2.2, their Froyo release. Um, that does some amazing things. Apparently Android's shipping 100,000 units a day now, they've got 50,000 apps. They are kicking ass. Um, their next release, 3.0, is coming out by the end of this year. And, like, say goodbye to the iPhone next year. By the end of next year, like, goodbye. They'll, I think... I maybe disagree. not Maybe not I goodbye. Disagree. They'll be shitting themselves. They'll have to re re-establish their business model mm. a hell of a lot. Like, I think they may move away from being locked down and being more mm. open. Anyway. Um, there's also uh, Google TV has been announced. That's massive. Um, they're opening up. People make apps on this. Um... Oh, I've got to rant about apps, but I won't do that. Um, uh, this thing is, is really cool, I just saw on, on TechCrunch. It's called YouTube Leanback. And what the, what it looks like it's going to be is you'll just go to this particular section on YouTube, click play, it'll look at your previous um, browsing and, and viewing history, and right. liking history, and just start playing you movie after, like video after video after video in as high as quality as they can possibly find. See, and that's great. It's just recommended content. So think like a, the YouTube TV channel. Yeah, you switch it on, but it's personally recommended for you. Every single piece of content you see is just for you, and you love it. And you just yeah, if you don't like something, you just hit next, and it yeah. just goes on to the next one straight away. And I would love like I'm get, I'm so I'm actually starting to get this is why I love the recommendation thing again. I'm starting to get bored of having to search for content I'm interested in. Yeah, as well, bad as that sounds. Well, how like, much have we been using feeds for like the past few years? Like a good past four years, it's just been feeds of information. And yeah. screw Google. I'm, it's hard to find like maybe two percent of the feed. I like. oh yeah, that's it. Well, so much you just skip through. Like I'll I'll go, I'll go through a thousand stories on Reddit yeah. a day, and most of it I'm just like oh I don't care. I don't it's care, very I don't much care. like we're not doing anything. That we're just sitting there and consuming. Me. But I, want, I wanted to feed me more. I don't want to have to fucking search for the information. Mm. Just give it to me. Well, see, this is something that I've, I, I think that's going to end up happening is that it's going to encourage people sharing afterwards. Mm. That you consume a lot of uh, media, uh, you consume a lot of content, and then you give back. You, well, yeah, we it process changes your brain. It. it does change your brain, and you want to actually put the change in your brain onto the machine. But you can't track that change. No, no if not people yet. could track that change. Well, that's why Twitter was really wow. good because it actually puts like just tons of little blips on there. Yeah. And Facebook statuses and stuff, and well, likes even. I mean, shit. If it was on YouTube channel and you watch something really cool and you hit like, I mean, that's a change in your brain. That's actually you saying yes, yes. I like. But it's to create more content or something. I don't know. Well, every single piece of content you get is a change. Hmm. I know. It's like everyone's like, oh, solid state media doesn't change, but it really does. So I, I'm, I'm comparing the brain to solid state. <laughs> like, I've been getting big into the whole philosophical thing of storytelling. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, Buddhists are all like, storytelling. But did you know what the original Jesus Sleeping Christ. Beauty was about? It was about rape. Not kissing her. He, <laughs> he raped her. <laughs> gave birth to twins. Yeah. Oh, well done. And then there was this sea, uh, there was a bit of flax underneath her nail, and he sucked it out, and then the, she woke up. Right. Sorry, I, I, I was talking about a happy thing. There. You were. <laughs> I was just saying how like. Um, well, storytellers. We have a certain. Li we have a limited amount of senses. Our. Maybe you do. Well, I have a limited amount of senses. Yeah. And right. every time we get information to those senses, it changes our 
position and it changes our view everything about us. Yeah. And the internet, I mean, this glowing screen, there is so much information right here mm. and it changes. Or it is just going to get more and more it close to us. It changes you every day. Like, imagine us a year ago. We Oh, very different. Different views, different everything. Yeah. Oh, and a lot of it's because of the glowing screen of Doom. Yeah. Mm. I mean, even our browsers. I remember using Netscape. Mm. Yeah, me too. And like that was using, old using school. Alta Vista and using oh god even uh Napster I use Napster you use Napster I use BearShare well are you WinMX um, yeah that was good I loved WinMX yeah. that was fun yeah Hectic, oh. but that changed you like it did well it's, it's the same way now that we're gonna look back and go oh yeah remember Facebook or maybe maybe Facebook mm. will still be around we'll go yeah, remember other things remember Dig well, remember the the static web it wasn't real time remember where you had to actually search for content that you yeah wanted. well that's true. Yeah. yeah, remember the, when search sucked and you had to look through multiple different pages to find what you were yeah. actually after. Like it's gonna definitely change yeah. from that. Anyway, random. anyway, um, my uh, <laughs> my last one, as is just a cool thing that just really hit home that living in the future. They've got this little device that you mount on your wall. It tracks mosquitoes with a camera. Once it's got the mosquito with its camera, it shoots a laser at it and kills it. Yeah. <laughs> How epic is that? <laughs> There's a freaking machine that you put on your wall and it kills mosquitoes with laser beams. I'm sorry, that's the future right there. That is awesome. I want one of them. I just want to stick it outside, not when I'm outside, just to piss off the wildlife. <laughs> I mean, that's oh, cool. I'd love to see it. Like, it's actually fry and just fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got slow motion videos. This one right here. We'll, we'll put it up. Oh, I'll they, send you a link. Do they burn? Yeah, you see smoke coming off. You see bits, one of its legs go flying off. It's a blue laser. It's not one of like, oh, the pissy man. red lasers that you've got to hold on it. It's like you get hit with a blue laser. Its leg flies off. <laughs> like one tenth of a second, the movie was saying. That this is, is awesome. the future. We are killing insects with laser beams and then programming DNA. Jesus, tap dancing Christ, people. I could just see someone reprogramming that to target eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you it's walk just in. mean. <laughs> yeah, it you wouldn't really be difficult. Could. It would not be difficult. But... If it can target fucking mosquitoes, <laughs> okay, with four eyes, blind that person. <laughs> and permanently blind the fucker. Yeah, every time you walk into the uh, room, you're blinded. Uh, it's a good... I turned, the, ha roll up. I turned the happy story. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, well, well that, that was it. It's a, it's a quick thing. Yeah, I got what are you going to finish up on? happy story. Hey. Um, did, have you guys seen? The, I, I think it was called Big Dog. Big Dog. Yeah, Big Dog. It's this robot that looks like a dog with four legs, and it walks, and it's really crazy because when you like when you push it or kick it, it gain, regains its balance and like gets back up again and it carries great. packs and stuff. Well, they've made a little dog. Oof! And it's like this little dog that's about that size with four legs, and it can cross over terrain like hectic terrain, rocks and stuff. Hells yeah! And it's all AI. Like it's actually if you watch through this video a bit more, like go watch the video. Well, check the video. Um. It even shows that when it loses its footing, it regains it, and as it's going along, it finds the best place for footing. Yeah. So real time sort of. It footing. actually learns. And see, this is why humans don't go into space. Yeah. No, a human. Don't <laughs> know, it's, it's silly. I said, oh, it's silly. there was a uh, the the new uh, the the shuttle um, replacement is apparently being launched very secretly, but there was an. Uh, a um, underground or not underground, like an amateur group of sky gazers, they call them, and actually found this new. Um, Wow. Spacecraft. And it's all automated. I have a feeling that NASA is going completely automated. I'd love to. But That's doing, cool. They're doing it for the military as well. Yeah, well, they, well, did you know that actually the military in the States actually has nearly the same budget or higher than NASA for their space program? Like NASA, the civilian yeah, space yeah. program, but the military has their own space program, which is the same right. in funding. Well, Obama's putting all, in, all the uh, space thing to the private sector now. Yeah. Well, I think which makes right. sense. It'll go faster. Like, yeah. I mean, Spaceship 2. Get it to Branson. Yeah, Branson. Fuck yeah, Branson. <laughs> anyway. That's pretty much it. Sweet. And another thing, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. cool. Secret door knocking. You can actually now record your door knock and it will uh, only let you in if you do the proper knock. Apparently it's from last year, 2009. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I like it. It's cool. I mean, it's, it's not really that good for security. I mean, all you'd have to do is listen and repeat it, but it's kind of... Yeah. Not bad. Anyway, this has been... Oh, we should say the date. Oh, it yeah. is now the 23rd of May, 2010. This and is the uh, last two weeks. Last two weeks, because we've been away. This we've is episode, been... I forget what. Something. There's anyway, double digits. Awesome. It is double digits. Double Ds. Anyway, it's been fun. I'm Tristan Graves. I'm Nathan Waters. It's been High 45. Catch you guys later. See you next week. Bye. I have to reach for the... I'm pretty sure it's you. Stop, bitches! <laughs> God damn. <laughs>
That's how every church would start. <laughs>